Oh, yeah. Yes. Beautiful. Flawless. Amazing. Oh. Okay. Let's give myself AD antimatter. Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to another Unity Antimatter Dimensions video. This is episode 6, and today we're going to be doing the Bimax, okay? So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, turn on those notifications if you got notified for future live streams and videos. Oh my god, this is itchy me. <laughs> Comment all your feedback, questions, compliments, all that good stuff below, and let's get into it. Alright, so I I also want to, I might want to do keybinds, so we'll see. I could probably do that different video, but I want to get the Bimax done and out of the way. Okay, so we're going to be doing this in our dimensions uh, script right here. And this should be pretty easy, I guess. So let's check out. Let's start with the tick speed, okay. Um, Do I even have the buy until 10 working? I don't, I don't know. Okay, well, I don't know why this is grayed out, so I'm just going to ignore that. So let's see. I want to, I want to skip that. Where is our tick speed? Is that in game controller? Buy tick speed right here. Okay, so we need to make this into a bimax. Now, I don't want to make this into a while loop, and this is pretty easy to make since our cost equation is very simple. So we will make a public void by, actually, you know what, let's, um, let's do it in here. So we're gonna do by tick speed, and we're gonna call this, uh, we're gonna have a, a different mode. We're just gonna do this in a switch case in here. So for our first one is going to be um, one, or yeah, sorry, it's case one. Yeah, like that. Okay, and basically when we're buying one, it's just like that. Okay, break it. And uh, we can honestly just return this. Okay, and we also need a, uh, a max, okay? I hope you like my wig, by the way. Um, so obviously we could just make it this into a while loop, but that's the big no, no. We need want, we want to do math. Math will save our lives. Okay. So we need some variables in here. So I'm going to start with a big double. We need the base cost. Okay. We need a big double. Uh, let's see. We need a cost molt, which is pretty easy to do cost molt we need our currency which we honestly don't need we can just make a variable for this and get rid of it um we need a uh a current level so our current uh uh level tick speed level and i think there's one more that we need i think that might be it honestly Okay, so if you haven't checked out this uh, Bimax uh, Math Explained video, I'd highly recommend you to uh, take a look because it pretty much explained how all the equations we use are created and what all the variables mean. And also here, it shows all of our variables. So we have our base costs, our, which is the starting cost, our growth rates, our current levels, and number to buy. Also, we have our currency, which is C, or the current cost. Okay, so we'll be using these, equ these equations here to... Um, to make this formula here. Now, I obviously I can't, I'm still can't remember these off the top of my head. Um, I did a little bit back end, but we're, we'll try my best. Okay, so let's make a cost here. Okay, because what we do is um, the maximum we can buy is based off of n. Okay. So the thing is that we have to find out n for the cost as well, and that might be a little tricky. But that, which, that, that's why we replace cost with currency, which is C, okay? So um, in this case, so we need to find what n is first. So 
sorry. I, th I, got, I think I said we need to start with cost, but we need, actually need to start with n, which is uh, the 2 by. And we can shorten these variable names in the future, okay? And we can make this a var and do all that good stuff. So you see here that our equation here is log base r, and inside of it is c times r minus 1 over b times r to the power of l, and all that plus 1. And that's our, our, our equation, okay? So we'll go off of this here. I will put this aside and I will start writing things down. Okay, so first we have to do our big double dot log. Also, if you don't, I know I haven't, I, I think I've said this in the past, but if you don't have the big double yet and if you're doing this with me, you'll, you'll, there's a, I have a breakfinity video with the download link there. So now we don't do log 10, we want to do log because we have a certain base, which is going to be R. Now R is our growth rate, so we would just put our cost mole here, okay? So now we want to uh, multiply the, the numerator, which is our currency, uh, currency times the R minus 1. And remember, R is the growth rate, so which is cost mult. So we do uh, currency times cost mult minus 1. Okay, so let's see, we're getting some errors here. I think it's because, yeah, these are not initialized, so... Our base cost here is one, is it 23? It's 1,000. Okay, and our cost mole is, and we can shorten this, okay? Trust me, we will. And our cost mole is 10, and this will change when it comes to challenges. So again, there's a lot of complexity to this game, so expect some changes in the future. Um, we, our currency is data.antimatter. Our level is uh, data.tick speed levels. And yeah, we have all of our... Uh, variables initialized. Also, we can get rid of this big double. Okay, so we are error free here. We're going to divide all of this by b times, that's the base cost, times r to the power of l. So it's base cost times uh, big double dot pow. Where, since I have the static break infinity dot big double here, all I need to type is pow. Okay, and what we do here is uh, r to the power of l. So that's cost mult to the power of our level. All right, that is simple enough. So now we have uh, our developed equation here. Okay, so now we need cost. So we're gonna set cost equal to this other equation here, which is B times uh, R to the power of L times R minus, or R to the power of N minus one, all of that divided by R minus one, okay? So, and again, I'm not gonna explain how these equations worked because I did it in this video. So if you're curious on that, make sure you please check out that video. Um, okay, so we need to do base cost times, so we're gonna times all by uh, R to the power of L. So that's base cost, yeah. Base cost to the power of level. And we're gonna multiply this by uh, base cost to the power of n and subtract it by 1. And we can get rid of some of these. Oh, uh, wait. 2 by, sorry. Okay. I think, we get, nope, we don't have to get rid of anything here. And we want to divide all of this by um, r minus 1. So we'll probably have to get rid of some of these parentheses here. Uh, oh, nope, looks like we're fine. Let me make sure we're multiplying the right things. Yep, we can get rid of that. Perfect. So we have both of our equations here, and we can keep these here, var, var. And honestly, we can, I want to keep these here, even though we can just replace base cost with 1,000. The reason why is because certain challenges, um, like like the Tixby challenge, things are gonna look different, right? All these costs are gonna change. So we wanna keep the variables so we, to keep ourselves organized. And we can just replace some of the things with the var because it knows it's a big double. Um, let's see if we do var here, I don't think that will work. Oh, uh, it's because of double. Why is it a double? Okay, <laughs> I'm just not gonna worry about that. Okay, because so we're not doing anything double related here. Okay, so now with our costs, we need to see if it's uh, 
if antimatter is greater than the cost, the biomax cost, and if it is, then we will subtract it by the cost, and yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, subtract it from the cost and add levels by the very the level variable, or actually no, the two by variable here. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. I know I kind of went through it really quickly, but again, I have a separate video for the the math related explanations for that. And I wanted to get that out of the way. Now we'll be using the same system here for our dimensions. So let's find that. And I yeah, so this one's a little weird because I don't I'm not sure how I think um Antimire Dimensions by Max is pretty much based on like what you can buy from like here, then this one, then this one, this and this one, this one, that, and so on. So it's gonna be a little weird. It's not by max based on until ten, I believe. I'm not positive. Should we check that out? Yeah, I think we should. It's safe to say. So we know what we need to do. Because I'd rather do less work than we are supposed to. Uh-oh. Steamwork support. I don't like it when they email me. Okay. So, it looks like that doesn't work. So, it looks like it's only by, by maxing the until 10. Perfect. That's what I want. Also, I think this by max all does everything. So we'll have to include the, the tick speed to that. Let's see, 100. Yeah, so it looks like it's only buying that. Okay, that makes sense. So that's less work for us to do. Okay, so we need to start with this buy until 10 here. Let's paste that in here. Okay. Okay, so we'll be using this in here by max. Also, what we can do here, actually, no, we won't have the switch case system here. We'll just get rid of all this, this string mode here. Okay. So we have variables. Uh, where's our costs? Oh, right here. dimension cost so yeah we have variables like the base cost the cost mold and stuff like that okay so I'm gonna move this here and we can just start shifting stuff around so our base cost is going to be our base cost dimension uh, base cost at index okay so we have to do this in a for loop so we're gonna we're gonna loop it from seven index seven, which is this one right here, to zero. So we're gonna start from down up, okay? So we'll just start with seven here. We'll replace it with a for loop later on. And our cost molt will equal to dimension cost molt at index seven. And our currency is the same. Our level, however, is, so this is the weird thing, is that it's buying 10 instead. So it's, what ours is gonna be based off is how many uh dim boosts we have, I think is what yeah. Dimension boosts. Yep. Okay, cool. So our level is dimension boosts at index seven. Okay, and our bimax equation is pretty much the same thing. Uh well, actually, so the cost is weird because it's not, remember, it's not just 1e8. It decreases as we buy one of these, so it's a little weird. But the buy until 10 is that. So I feel like our cost is this minus, or minus how many levels times 10 or something like, or this how many, by how many levels times 10 minus, yeah. I don't know. It's really weird. So, okay, so our currency, our two by, I think we should calculate based on what our current level is. Okay, so what I'm doing here, also what I did here is that I added this um, right here. So basically we add our dimension boost to our two by and our levels, we set that to zero. So now what I'm gonna do here is exactly what we did for our until 10 cost. And since this is an equation here, and that's what our by max is right now, but we need to include the, all, the in case we have extra levels here. So we do that by multi 
by using this formula here, which is our dimension cost times 10, and that is our t until 10, and we subtract that by how many levels we've already bought in, okay? So we can go to this cost here, and we need to multiply this by 10 anyways, so we'll do that, and we'll subtract it by dimension cost uh, like that. I think that's what we do. I'm not completely positive. Uh, I'm, this is like a big gamble right here. So we'll see if this r works at all. I'm so bad at parentheses. <laughs> so bad. Okay. Um, that should be fine. It's just the two by that I'm really concerned about. Because I feel like that it's, I don't know. I just feel like it's not the right numbers i guess like i feel like this currency should be divided by 10 or something like that so i f maybe i can just like do i don't know i let's just test to see how this runs so um dimension count oh yeah we need to add dimension count really irrelevant to add this at this point <laughs> but okay so we're adding the 10 times 2 by so basically we're adding 10 every shift because or every dimension boost because that's just it's not really a dimension boost actually but um this unlock thing i guess we need to do so we'll just say okay so we need to we need to add this as a for loop like really fast so because this is getting kind of annoying to look at so we need to start at seven, okay, and we're we're gonna make sure this is never less than zero, and we're just gonna subtract by one every time we iterate, and we replace all these sevens and IDs with um, I. Okay, so replace that with I, I, I. Where else do we have I? Right here. I think that. Oh yeah, these three. And we'll place I here. On uh, I think that's how they do it. I don't know. Let's see. We need to check if, if these even are unlocked. So before we do all this useless math, we need to check to see if, if it's unlocked anyways. So if dimensions on the current dimension, if it's unlocked, then we can do this. Okay. Uh, and since we can make these variables since uh, our base costs are big doubles, we can invert this, I guess. Okay. So now if it's false, then we're just going to continue on with the for loop. We don't do this. So that's what the continue does. Okay. It basically just continues on with the for loop. It ignores all of this right here. So it's like a return, but it doesn't actually return the method. It just doesn't continue here, but it continues the for loop, if that makes sense. Okay. Let's save it. And this is a huge gamble. I don't think this is going to work, but uh, we have any errors. Nope. Okay. So where's our bimax? Okay, so we have our bimax tick speed here. So we're going to call this dimensions. Oh, this is not dimensions. This is our main script here. Our, no. Oh, yeah. Scripts right here. Is that it? Yep. Game controller. Okay. So I dragged in the scripts right here, with which has our game controller. And we're going to add by tick speed and set it the string to max. And now we want to do that for the same thing for our other by tick speed and we want to set this string this parameter to one okay and this by max i guess it's below i don't i don't even know where my dimensions uh dim sack here it is that's in a weird spot and we're going to set this by max to the by max method okay i'm going to save this here and let's give it a shot i don't expect this to work at all but the, the tick speed should be flawless Okay, where's our script here? Okay, I'm gonna give ourselves eight antimatter and it should buy. Oh, great, it doesn't. Okay, well that's a good, f not, okay. So it looks like both of our buy maxes aren't working. So that's, that's neat. Oh, that was really, that, okay. 
That was confusing. <laughs> but I don't know. It's not even buying like all of them. This doesn't even look right. Like this cost does not. I. <laughs> okay, I'm look. I'm scared to look at my dimension boost because I know it's not a constant number. Yeah, look at that. What the hell? Okay. Well, that's not good. Um, okay, so let's first start with um, tick speed. Also, we need to add our buy tick speed in this method too. So we just do game dot buy tick speed and we add the max string as a parameter or to our argument. And so why is it not working? I feel like I need to round these. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to print uh, to buy and our cost. Oh, yeah, we might need to stop that. We need to see if this is iterating at all. So okay, so it's negative. It's going more negative. Oh. Yeah. That was not good. So first start with negative one. And cost is greater than zero. <laughs> okay. So if cost is greater than zero too. Okay. Just so that doesn't happen. But why was it negative one? I don't know. Okay, I gotta take off this. <sighs> that was driving me nuts. And I got hair all over me like bleh, get away get away Ugh. okay how was that was driving me insane okay so oh um okay so let's double check our equations here oh i see we're missing a plus one okay so we're missing a plus one in our log here so we're gonna plus one right here because this should be zero and we also need to add a floor. So um, we multiply all this. Yeah, okay. Just add a plus one here. And what we're going to do is add a floor to this because uh, we don't want to buy decimals. And we're going to do the same thing for above. And this should reduce our, this should get rid of our negative issue. Um, where is it? Yeah, we're going to set log to floor also we need to add that plus one to here too so i completely like forgot about that and we should be set oh, i just realized i'm not using the latest version of unity so if you click it says zero okay perfect if we say seven so the cost doesn't look quite right the buying is good though, so that's nice. But the the cost is really weird. Actually, no, this is right. Yeah, this is correct. Uh, it just looks weird. Okay, it's correct. Never mind. Obviously, this could be shortened to just all zeros here, and but I don't know, cause it's cause these number like this thousand right here, this upgrade right here, this should be free. It should be technically free because of how irrelevant it is. But we don't need to do that. So I think this is the right cost. I'm, yeah. Let's just say it is. Um, Because we're buying four. Yeah, that that's, yeah. So now it's not buying at all. So is this, um, okay. I think the issue here is that this is still bigger than this, right? So if we make this two, oh, it's trying to round up to the next one. So that's not good. Hmm. See, we can afford the four of them right now, but now it's saying that we can afford five. So I'm debating on if we should just subtract one. I feel like that's bad practice, but I don't know why this is incorrect. I feel like we, we're forgetting a variable. So let's see. Um, base cost to the power of L. 
r to the power of n, all that minus 1, and all of this divided by that. Yep, that's correct. Oh, it's divided by base cost over 1. That's its growth rate. Okay. So again, if stuff doesn't work, you always just got to check your work. Okay. So that might be the issue why this is not working. And it's pr I guess that made a pretty weird impact. And not like in a really oblivious one where we got a bunch of NANs. Okay. So now if we set this to 4, or 4, yeah, it should... Okay, so we can buy 2. This cost is very weird. I don't know why it's like that. Because this is like 2, that's... that's Yeah, this is not right either. <laughs> well, if we put like 90, for example. It's, yeah, that's not correct. It should be 1E90. This N right here is correct. It's our cost equation that's a little messed up here. All right, I'm going to go uh, take a look at this. Be right back. Okay, so immediately I saw what was wrong. So Cosmo right here. I didn't even have to like cut this part because I immediately saw. this. The base cost is what I, I got mixed up, okay? So replace all the base costs with your cost molt. Sorry about that. I got mixed up with my R's and D's. Okay. Now it should work just fine. Hopefully. It's weird because like the other thing would have worked too. But it it was kind of mm, weird in a way. So now if we put 6. Cool. So now it buys the right amount. So if we put... E99, it should buy, oh, that's not correct. Okay, well, okay, what if we put something smaller, like 50? So now it's saying we can buy 51, even though we can only buy, f like, 44? Yeah, 44, yeah. Um, okay, well, that's not good. We're forgetting some variables here. Tick speed levels. What is our tick speed level? Yeah, that's right. Never mind. So if we keep buying these, it keeps adding on to this. That's weird. You see that? That's like adding on. It's like... <laughs> okay. So there's something wrong with our level here. So our 2 by is divided by base cost to the power of our cost molt. Um... R. Is there any base cost in here? Yeah, just that one. And parentheses here. Parentheses here. I feel like it's something to do with our... Oh, I see here. Okay, that little sneaky um, plus one here. Okay, so add, I added parentheses around... Oh, man. I got confused my parentheses already. One, two, one, two. Okay. So I added parentheses around this base cost times uh, pal right here. So I guess that screwed things up. So let's copy these two equations back into, actually, no, just this one here. Uh, back into our dimensions because that will mess things up too. And replace all these base costs with our cost molds here. Okay. So now let's uh, save this and let's give it another try. Here, you know what? Give this another shot. How about over like that? Yeah, that's that seems really cool. Okay, uh, let's give ourselves some antimatter, shall we? Yes. Okay, so let's try a bigger number now. Awesome! It works. It buys the right amount. So yeah, it should look like one point one one e sixty six. Yeah. So if we do that, yep. Perfect. So now our bimax is another concern. So it looks like it's buying the rest, but it's not. It's I think it's this one right here. So, okay, cool. So it looks like our bimax actually does pretty well. Um, first try, I did not think it was going to work, but <laughs> I guess we got lucky here. 
Um, so we need to iterate this to i is greater than or equal to zero. Okay. We could set this to is greater than negative one, but that just doesn't look right. So I, I'm going to do greater than or equal than zero. Okay. Let's give this another shot, another go. And this should be a lifesaver here. And what's nice is that it only iterates to the one that's actually unlocked. So if we do 77, it should but if we do a bimax here. Oh man, that's not good. It's still not okay. So that's nice, I guess. But it's still yeah. I think how does the Bimax even, like, does the Bimax, like, in lo uh, blah, unlock too? Ah, frick. I keep going to the wrong thing here. Okay. So, while it's still not iterating through this, I don't know why. Because is, is this unlocked already? Zero. Yeah, this should be true. Oh man, this is ugly notation. And it's in. Okay. So, does this unlock? Let's give us some antimatter. I'm curious if it automatically buys all of them or if it, like, does what mine does right now. So, if we do this. Okay, so it looks like it unlocks all of them too. So, you gotta click it once. Okay. Well, we need to do that too because, um,. Yeah, I don't think we're going to want to click buy max a few times. So in this case, I guess what's best to do is to reverse this order. Uh, we don't have, I guess we can. Yeah, because when we, oh, wait a minute. Yeah, we forgot some other things too. I think we forgot this unlock. No, we have it right here. So let's start from zero and stop at eight. So yeah, let's do that instead. And it should be able to buy the first one just fine, hopefully. Uh, if not, then I'm gonna have to do some debugging. Okay, I see your issue here. So this it's a really dumb mistake, but you see how it says i is greater than eight? Well, we start at zero, so clearly i is never gonna be greater than eight. So we need to make sure it's i is less than equal less than eight okay so that was a just a stupid mistake so i don't think we'll need to print any of that stuff and this should be the last of it oh we need to get some of that antimatter nine. Oh yeah yes beautiful flawless amazing oh that's not good so it's so true zero break where does okay so i kind of thought of something so our cost molt never changes but the base cost can we adjust that i think we can now the reason why i'm saying this is because we subtract the overall cost by how many are our levels so it's kind of like subtracting the base cost from the cost molt right because we're not changing the cost molt it's still like if we buy a dimension boost and not change our levels, the cost mult is still going to be the same, right? It's going to be times 10 or whatever the cost mult is. So what if we change the base cost based on uh, what we have here? So I'm actually going to try this now. Uh, I don't think we need to times 10 anything. Maybe I can get rid of this and see if this solves the issue. If not, I'm just going to put a comment, uh, bring back divided by 10. Also, that means we need to bring back... Or we need to get rid of that. Okay. So that's just a note for me to take. Now we want to set this this base cost to whatever the cost is now. I don't want to subtract this cost, obviously. So I think what I'm just gonna do is just multiply it by ten, subtract it by the its base cost again by the levels. Okay? So I think that might actually work. And if this does, woohoo! Finally, and honestly, I thought this was gonna be a really short video. I really did. I thought it was gonna be much easier than I thought. Okay, let's give myself eighty antimatter.
Yes, we got it to work. By Max. Hell yeah. Even more by Max. Woo! More by Max. I demand more by Max. 15. By Max. Give me more by Max. I'll let this number go. Rise, antimatter, rise. Give me some more. Give me some more antimatter. Look at that number rise. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Magnificent. Okay, so good thing that worked. So this is our final changes here. Now, we can honestly just get rid of some of these variables since we do use them. Actually, no, we use them numerous times, so it is to shorten them. But stuff like currency, that can go. So we'll shorten this up while my thing is catching up. And it looks like we used the level once, so we'll just trim that. Cool. So in conclusion of this equation, basically what it does is that it start, It goes in a for loop, obviously. It checks if it's even unlocked, starting from the 1st to the 8th. Obviously, the first one is always unlocked, so that doesn't matter for that. Um, it checks if we can even afford an until 10, okay? And the, and the buy max goes off of until 10 because really these are the most pointless things at, at this point. It's useful for like six dimension, obviously, but it's useless pretty much after that. Um, so it checks for that. It calculates the base cost, which we do base cost times 10 minus dimension base cost times game.data dimension level. So now... We, which is this right here. So if you buy one right here, you can see that this cost reduces, right? So we're basically just shifting the base cost, essentially, not the actual cost mult, so which is why we do this. And we create a variable with cost mult, which is this right here. And we create a variable just because we use it more than, we use it three times. Three times or more is the kind of a rule of thumb if you want to, you know, reduce some things. And, whew, that's a mouthful. Calculate the amount of upgrades we can buy using this massive equation here. Works perfectly. So now we check um, if it's less. Now, if we can buy less than one, then we're just going to skip it altogether. Um, we subtract the antimatter by the actual cost rather than gathering all the total cost because that's kind of redundant. Uh, really doesn't matter because these numbers are so big after all. Um, dimension counts, we which is um, ch -ch -ch -ch, dimension counts, dimension counts. What's that? I totally, I just brain fart. What's this dimension count? <laughs> um, I just had a massive brain fart. I don't, I forgot what dimension count was. Uh, dimension levels. I know what that is. Dimension levels is this. And, oh, dimension count. That's this. I'm stupid. Okay, and then dimension boost is that. Okay, so we add our count to how many we actually buy. So we multiply 10 by 2 by, and we subtract it by how many levels we have. So if we have 5 right now, and we buy it until 10, it buys 5, okay? So we add 5 to the count, so that's what that is. And we multiply, or we add our dimension boost by how many, like how many dimension boosts we have, or that we can buy, which is this right here. And we set levels to zero, okay? Which is why we want to check to see if we can afford this so we don't just set our levels back to zero for no reason. And we make sure to check if we can unlock it like usual. And after that, we buy a tick speed, okay? It looks like it's not going to catch up anytime soon, so I'm just going to uh, end this video off with a thank you guys very much for tuning in. I'm sorry this was a really long and kind of maybe boring video, I guess, because I was working on a simple bimax equation that I should know how to do. So if you did, if you stayed, if you stuck through it, blah, if you stuck around to the end, and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and turn on those notifications if you want to get notified for future live streams and videos. Share this video with uh, your community, your friends, anyone you would like. I would really appreciate it. And uh, if you want to uh, ask any questions, if you have any feedback, uh, suggestions, all that good stuff, make sure you comment them below. I'll be sure to check them out. Anyways, thank you guys for, for watching the video and have a good dad. Have a good dad. Have a good day. Peace.